eaters, at least some of them, but some won't even try to taste something if it resembles anything healthy. Some adults I know too, but today Georgetown ISD is paving the way for kids to have a say in what they eat. Alicia Inns is at Eastview High School to talk about some taste testing going on there. Good morning. Good morning, John and Sally. As you can see behind me, the vendors starting to get all set up here because what's going to happen in about a couple hours from now is that hundreds of parents and students are going to come through here, make their way kind of a circular motion around the cafeteria here and try out some different foods that could be featured in the school, the students lunches. This is actually the Georgetown ISD 13th annual food show and taste test. The whole idea the district came up with this because they noticed a lot of food that these students were eating for lunch was just getting thrown away. So they thought, you know what, let's get some input. Let's get some feedback here because what's the point of serving specific food if the kids just aren't even eating it? Well, several food companies are going to offer more than two 200 samples of their entree items here today. We're talking everything from whole grain zucchini bread, sun butter and jelly sandwiches, uh, even beef burgers with mushrooms. So parents are encouraged to come see what their kids will be eating at lunch. But nutrition specialist with the district says it's not all about you parents. I'm sorry. They really just want to see what the students have to say and have a say in what they eat for lunch. Before we started this, we had parents come in and they actually said, oh, they love this meatloaf. So we brought meatloaf in and the kids hated it. We had to have meatloaf sandwiches, meatloaf wrap, meatloaf mac and cheese. And we decided, you know, parent taste is not student taste. So we really needed to get them in. So we have about 300 uh, people participate. All right, now the attendees will be sampling items and sharing their opinions, and then that whole feedback is going to be taken by the district, and it could become an actual menu item next school year and just see how that goes from there. So coming up in the 8.30 hour, I'm actually going to talk with one of the vendors here before the parents show up at 9 o'clock. We're going to talk to them a about what they're going to be serving here today, so stay tuned. For now, we're live in Georgetown. Alicia Inns, KXAN News. All right.